Hey, welcome back to the Snyder Family Homestead. Today we're gonna go um, pick our corn and process it and put it up for the winter. Well, as you can see here, there was significant tornado damage from my corn, as you saw from another video. But it turns to find out, come to find out there has been significant deer damage. Let me show you. Right there. And every other stalk. There would have been a corn stalk there. That's gone. Gone right there. Gone right here. Gone right there. Picked completely clean. Every single one. Oh, there's a pumpkin. But even that has been nibbled off. And if they have left me any kind of corn, I'm gonna show you what it looks like. So, corn cob right here. If they left any ears around whole, that's what they look like. Every single one of them. I literally have a pile of corn stalks. Like, they ate like everything. Like, I don't know what's going on. They ate everything. More corn there. They must have been an accident. They left a couple of kernels. Well, I'll take what they didn't take. Another one right there. And there's a lot of evidence to the, the deer that were out here. This was a very small stand of what was called bloody butcher corn. I will add a picture in here to what it was supposed to look like. They all had very nice cobs on them, but they took everything, everything, every single cob that was on here is now gone. Every single one of them. They, on all of them, except for two, they ate cob and everything. And this is what's left, what's left of the bloody butcher corn. Just, two cobs out of the 20 that were here. I thought I had the, the deer beat with this electric fence that I had put in all the way around, but the deer laughed at me. I, after it started making um, about eight foot tall, I uh, said, oh, it'll be all right. So I took down the, unplugged the electric fence. Nope, the deer made a mockery of me, which is all right, because next year, I'll put T-posts in, like I was fencing this in for some cattle, my whole garden, and it's gonna have T-posts that are 12 foot tall, and I'll probably have four to six strands of electricity with a high mile uh, fence charger. So they'll get the poke of a lifetime. But here, I'm gonna show you, right here I have my patch of Indian corn that I had planted. Um, it didn't come up very well because when I planted it, it was the drought, but like two weeks after I planted it, uh, we started getting rain and then it didn't germinate properly. So I had to replant it. And what you see here is what I replanted. But ever since then, it's been a complete monsoon getting at least an inch every week. But it's the same thing. Gone. And what they didn't take are these. Oh, this one must have, this one, this one right here must have been an accident. It's little, but there's some nice um, kernels on it. But everything else is just gone. Completely and utterly destroyed. Right here, the deer even laughed at me some more and said, forget your fence, sir. We're just gonna break it and run through it. Those wild hooligans. <laughs> they really did a number on my corn this year. I thought I was gonna come out here and make a nice YouTube video about what I had harvested and um, how, how much corn I'm gonna be able to put up for the winter for the chickens. Um, how much corn that was gonna be out here left because I was thinking about getting some winter pigs. Nope. I always made a mockery. But I will show you all that I got out of the corn and pumpkins that the deer didn't eat.
Just that. So I got one, two, three, four little table pumpkins. And then I got a, just a few handfuls of those. That one must have been an accident. And I know this one was a real accident. Like somebody, one of those deer must have had COVID or something because that was a nice, beautiful ear of corn that somebody missed. Little couple little little ones. Some of my Indian corn, underdeveloped. More of my Indian corn. One that I just picked a little bit ago. It might make some decent seed. Then I had this behemoth of an ear. But after opening it, I can see exactly why they left it. Nothing inside of it. Big old ear, a fat ear like that. Ten kernels on that whole thing. Crazy. But this one was a stalk. It came from a seed that my daughter had planted where there was no other around it. Of course, so it grew, it grew like wildfire. But I do have one, two, three, four, five beautiful looking pieces of Indian corn. But they are undersized. Um, that could be because of the there was no fertilizer and um, a lot of weeding, a lot of weeds. But uh, I kind of gave up on it also because of the drought and the amount of weeds. First year gardens are horrible unless you really plan for it. Next year I'm going to have, like I said, four to six strands of electric with a high mile charger. And I'm going to be um, rotor tilling in between instead of trying to pull all the weeds i'm just going to rotor tiller in between and then pull what's left but thanks for stopping by to seeing this disaster don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos have a good night